Well, back to you, Grohol, financial markets expert and professor at the European School of Management and Technology. What do you say? Are we running the danger of losing the euro? Um, it's clearly the case that the euro faces um, the strongest challenge um, since its in inception in uh, 1999. And this has been, uh, in that sense, the most difficult um, situation we have to deal with. At the same time, the political will and the will of the political leaders in the eurozone has been clearly demonstrated and they've clearly demonstrated that they don't want uh, the euro to go under but rather to promote the stability and and also the long-run um, solidity of the euro so what's gone wrong when we introduced the euro did we miss anything well i think the first real mistake was that those criteria that were set up 11 years ago were not really um, used in some cases. They were maybe implemented on paper, but they were not really followed when it comes down to the scrutiny of, of what was going on. One particular example is Greece, uh, that admittedly uh, used wrong numbers to get into the Eurozone. And I think this is an important lesson to learn for the future when it comes to the question of whether should new members be allowed to enter the Eurozone, which criteria should they um, fulfill. And second of all, um, also when it comes to discussions in Germany or France about budget deficits to uh, take it seriously that there are these criteria. Mm. So there was a bit too much euphoria, which is understandable when we uh, look at how strong the euro has been recently against the US dollar, especially in 2009, where it almost hit the 160 mark. And although it's been losing ground lately, currently at around 140, it's still stronger against the dollar than it was in 2002. So would you say that this is really a bad situation? The euro looks pretty healthy still. Uh, that is true. Uh, in particular, one has to see uh, two facts. The first one is that the interest rates in the US were very low, making it very unattractive for investors to go into uh, dollar investments. The other one is that uh, the state finances of the US, the budget deficit there is extremely large at this point. So therefore, uh, the confidence in the, uh, in the US dollar has not been um, over overwhelming over the last uh, years. Maybe some of, uh, investors, uh, of the investors in the US have even looked for investments in the Eurozone in the hope for more stability here. Now, lastly, there's always two sides to every coin. I believe German export business uh, actually rejoices right now. That is true, um, even though um, I think also they would be very interested in having a stable currency in the long run. Um, in that sense, uh, they they'd benefit from the crisis at this point, but I don't think this will be their long-term interest. Okay, final question. Where would the euro be best, ideally? Which exchange rate? Uh, that is very hard to predict, and if I knew, I probably would uh, bet my, my own um, endowment on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jörg Grocher, thank you very much for joining us.